Hello there dreamers and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Royce. I'm a painter sculptor and a collector. Today's episode is going to be all about my PlayStation 1 collection. Let's get started. All right, where do I even begin? I got my first PlayStation when it first came out in, what was it, like 98, 99? I do believe that the PlayStation 1 was truly a revolutionary device. It kind of brought the video game back up to what it is today. And I had an amazing childhood playing with these original games. All right, up first we have Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. I never played the first one, but this game is so fun. I remember skating through the abandoned warehouse over this like abandoned plane and in this tunnel. It was just such a fun game. Awesome soundtrack. If you've never played this game, give it a try. It is so fun. I'm sure they make it in an updated version. All my Pixar fans out there, you're gonna love this game. It is Toy Story 2. This game, I spent the good majority of probably a year playing. It is so fun. You are Buzz in Andy's house when you first start out on level one and you adventure through his house. You help Bo Peep find her sheep. You jump into the backyard. You get to go in the swimming pool. You go up to the attic. This is an amazing, amazing game. If you've never played this, give it a try. Tarzan for me has always been my favorite. And by the way, if you have not seen my Tarzan collection video, I will link it below. This is the Tarzan game, and it's simply called Disney's Tarzan for PlayStation. And this is an incredible game. You get to adventure through the jungles as Tarzan. You start out actually as baby Tarzan in this game. The best part of this game is you get to skate on the branches like Tarzan did in the movie. It was so fun. You have to jump over certain vines and you're supposed to like catch fruit and go side to side. It is such a fun game. I love it. Up next, it is very sentimental. This is Asteroids. I remember playing this with my mom in the two player option. It was so fun. And it's definitely the best version of Asteroids I have ever played. Check this out. It is so fun. You shoot huge asteroids. I think you're trying to protect yourself. I'm not 100% sure, but I do remember the asteroids themselves would not die right away. And it took a lot of shooting power and it's really fun because you work as a team in this one and anytime you play as a team I think it just makes the game more fun. Up next we have another Pixar game. This is A Bug's Life. This game, woo, it's fun. All I can say is if you love A Bug's Life you must play this game. You are literally flick in the anthill. You you like have to gather grain, you're battling Hopper. This is such a fun interactive game for its time. In the back of the box it reads, the ultimate movie fun comes to the PlayStation console. Get ready for a bug's eye view and experience the most incredible adventure ever featuring fully interactive 3D environments brought to life with unprecedented cinematic quality, animation, smooth controls, and challenging puzzles. A Bug's Life is guaranteed fun for all ages, and that is no lie. My Disney World fans out there, this is the game for you. This is Walt Disney World, the magical racing tour. Above all, I remember playing this so much with my mom, with my cousins. This is such a fun game. You literally are in the Pirates of the Caribbean boat. 
you're in the haunted mansion doom buggy you're in the the jungle cruise on a boat it's just so fun you get to be so many different fun disney characters and you race through the rides and it's so fun because you hear the soundtrack you see the animatronics i remember my mom would always get stuck and lost in splash mountain this is such a fun game if you've never played this and you're a disney world or disneyland fan check this out this is going to be my second favorite and my first favorite is coming up next but this is going to be namco and the game that I really loved is not featured on the cover, but it is called Toy Bop. And Toy Bop, you basically are playing Pino and Acha, and it's a you know two-player game. And it is just somebody, whoever designed this game loves presents because you have to shoot these presents and you have to unlock all these fun, like interactive, like powers like for instance if there's cars coming after you have to get tires to throw tires at them if there's toy soldiers you get to shoot them just with like these little toy white pellets this game is so fun at the end it's so dramatic you have to battle this like random witch wizard woman and the music is so intense this game is so fun but last but not least is to me my childhood favorite i even have it up here on the pedestal Spyro, my God. I just played this game last year. I don't even know what to say. It's so weird that you can have such a fond memory in a virtual world. And that is the case with this soundtrack, with these lands, with these characters. I am so happy and excited every time I get to play this game. Of course, you are playing Spyro, this amazing dragon, and you are unfreezing all of the dragons that are frozen in his world, and you have to eventually battle the Eevee Nasty Nork at the end of the game. It's just amazing, incredible. If you've never played Spyro, please check this out. This is the original version. My best friend, Nicole, actually has the updated version that she plays, and me and her are playing right now. It is so fun and the updated version, the graphics are amazing. The animation is better. And I'm not saying that that one isn't as good as this one, but for me, this is my go-to when I'm playing this game. This is my original box and I just absolutely love, love, love Spyro. There's a lot of other games on this console that I don't ever honestly remember playing. I do remember playing Tomb Raider. I remember always being stuck in the maze outside and the butler just following me and that truly just scared the hell out of me. So I really didn't play it much. The Grinch was fun. I do remember playing the Grinch, but not enough to really talk about it in depth as the others. But if you have never played these games, give it a chance. PlayStation is truly an iconic console and it is such a fun pastime for every age, any generation, check it out. All right, everybody, that's all the time we have for today's episode. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Be nice to one another and always remember dreamers, not only to follow your dreams, but to chase them. Later dreamers.